Hey guys, Photog not here. So um, yeah, summer is upon us, and many of us are going somewhere on vacation, traveling somewhere, and we want to pack light. But even though we pack light, we want to have everything with us. You know, we don't want to miss that opportunity. We don't want to go down on gear, all that stuff. Um, as you've probably seen on my channel. Um, I'm getting rid of a lot of gear and um, one thing with that is that uh, yeah I'm I'm selling most of my analog equipment but uh, I have a box full of film um, this is my 35 millimeter film I also have a lot of 120 but um, I decided that 2017 should be sort of uh, the year where I shoot all my analog film all my film and um, and uh, yeah, empty that box of film and get a lot of good pictures. So I uh, just want to tell you about my uh, my summer my summer uh, setup here. So um, so I decided to not go digital for my uh, traveling, uh, which we're doing in a few days. And I decided to bring my uh, Fuji um, Class S. This is the 35 millimeter edition, which is really cool. Everything is uh, everything is uh, automatic on this camera, um, and uh, that's pretty cool. You just load the film, um, close the back, it winds. You take all the pictures that there are, and uh, yeah, when it's done, it just rewinds the picture. You take it out and put in another one. Um, what I could find in my in my box of films, uh, I got a lot of these L4 Delta 3200 because it's one of my favorite uh, films. It's uh, really grainy, uh, but uh, you can shoot it in daylight as well, and it gives you a cool effect with all the grain. But also, it uh, allows for yeah high shutter speeds if you have that possibility. Then um, I got the uh, Kodak Gold. And the Kodak Gold is uh, <laughs> is something I bought as a joke because I thought I would like get the Kodak moments by using the Kodak Gold. I think they're ISO 200. Uh, yeah. So these are good for the beach, for sunshine, for all the things that you uh, you want to use. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, then I got this weirdo black and white uh, Agfa Photo APX that I bought which I have no idea what I'm going to do with, but I'm thinking I'm gonna, when I load this one in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take portraits, 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 like kids stand here, uh, look great, uh, I'm gonna shoot these 36 pictures and get some cool portraits. I have no idea. I think it's, I think it's, I don't think it's the best film in the world, uh, as I remember it, but it might be. I can't remember it really. And then I got the Fuji colors. I'm gonna load up when we go to see some site where I don't know colors could be interesting. Perhaps I'll try and put my my uh, camera on a tripod when I'm there and take some sunsets, or sunrises, or I don't know something with water, something with with cool colors. See if uh, I can get something out of that. And then I had my have my uh, 400 Tri-X, which is a really cool film for any situation. But I really especially like overexposing these a bit in um, in a situation where it's like overcast, where there's uh, not a lot of uh, sun direct sunlight, but like a shadowy situation. And um, yeah, I got three of those left. I burned I don't know three rolls of this today, um, and that's I guess that's the uh, the thing with film, uh, it looks like a lot of film, but these will these will disappear fast. I'm, uh, when I shoot, I, I, I usually get into a situation where I say, okay, I'm going to take some pictures of this thing. And I load a film, and I basically don't stop shooting until I shot the entire film of that particular thing. So whatever it is uh, that I'm doing, it's uh, yeah, almost always 36 pictures. Because, of course, I could say a day on the beach, I could have these, uh, one of those Kodak Golds loaded and uh, shoot that during the day, not shooting the entire roll, but I would, um, I would, uh, 
for the rest of the film, I would I would shoot it right away because I don't want to have like Ilford 3200 loaded in the camera when I get up in the morning and whatever. It, it, yeah, I just I just want to have the right film for the right thing that I'm doing, and and, and basically that's that's why I shoot everything. Also because um, so 30 36 pictures is not a lot of frames to get a really good frame. So not when you're me and you. So if I shoot 36 pictures, I have like uh, one, two, three, four keepers and the rest are throwouts. So uh, yeah, I go for those perhaps two to three keepers per roll. So I, that's what I'm thinking. If I'm shooting 36, I get max 10% uh, keepers. So um, yeah, it's just a rule of thumb I use. And um, yeah, then you quickly get through these. So here is uh, like... Uh, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there's fourteen different situations. Um, and if you do get stuck with like the wrong film in your camera for the for the right situation, or have reversed the the right film for the wrong situation, then um, yeah, you gotta be creative. Uh, shoot with uh, slow shutter speed or high shutter speed or um, try and get something out of the the lighting if it's like colorful but you got black and white film in there try and try and go for um try and go for the uh the colors instead uh, not the colors but like the the shades of the the light um, see what you can do but uh, yeah basically that is my um my idea of what to do uh, this summer uh this next uh, travel i'm doing it's gonna be uh, epic it's gonna be weird, like knowing that the, the films that I'm shooting uh, with the camera is probably going to be the last one because I'm selling the camera, and uh, yeah, and then I, I'll make a new project uh, shooting my Mamiya RZ67 Pro Pro 2 with a six by seven medium format film. Oh, medium format film, 120 on a six by seven camera. Um, that's gonna be cool too. Just emptying that box of, of film, getting that out of there, and then putting the the cameras up for sale, and actually probably having a lot of cool pictures that I can print and put on the walls. I'll uh, of course uh, show you um, the pictures that I've taken. So when I get home from vacation, I'll go have them developed at the uh, laboratory, and I'll make a new sort of a um, you know video where I'm I'm scanning the, the films and all that and let you know my experiences with using only the uh, classes for uh, for an entire vacation uh, one thing about the um, uh, the classes is that I'm gonna I have an I have an extra strap uh, that comes with the uh, Fuji X100 uh, that I haven't used it's brand new I'm gonna put that on here so I can uh, put that around my neck um, and where everywhere I go um, yeah so uh, let me know if there's anything particular you would like to know about the, uh, the, f the films or the camera or whatever I'll try and, uh, and answer those questions this is actually a pretty cool camera that I bought from a guy in Spain on eBay and I've been really pleased with that so far I shoot this uh, basically on um, program mode let me see if I can focus here yeah so basically what I do is I put it on program I have disabled the flash and I set the um, ISO manually even though it can read from the film I always set the ISO manually because I th don't trust the computer inside uh, <laughs> to know what the ISO it is so um, yeah and basically this makes it a uh, a point and shoot camera like you know the the ones made of cardboard that you would use to put on tables at weddings saying to everybody pick up a camera and take pictures this is just a, a better lens better build quality um, one-time camera that uh, is for many times but it's uh, pretty cool yeah all right guys so uh, i hope you're enjoying your summer vacation whatever you're doing if you have summer vacation uh, i hope you're doing a lot of cool photography and uh, yeah, I look forward to sharing the pictures with you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.